let me get to this next That's topic. I think funny. this next topic is much more interesting, right? Um, should a woman be shamed for dating for money over love? And I know you got a lot to say about this because you was under the comments. They roasted right? me you know under. Saying? They like, roasted me when I it, what they were saying. They was going in on me. I'm like, damn! All I did was exp- was explain, right. you know, what she said mm. is that I understand her. You understand? Like when you try to do it the right way and you keep getting like that wall. Like I paid dudes rent before. Mm. You understand? Like mm. I paid dudes rent before, and he still cheated on me and had a mm. baby. So. I felt her in that post. Mm. So I was like, listen, I'm dating for money too. But do you think that's a justification? Because listen, because my thing could be, you know, I've done things for women and women kind of violated me in that sense. I could use Mm. that same excuse. Like, damn, when I was in my 20s, women was violating me. Now I'm only using women for their pussy and what I could get from them, right? So would that be equivalent? Would, would you would you judge me if I'd be like, you know There's what? I don't date for love. I date for, to fuck these bitches. Like, you know, would you look at me the same way? Or you'd be like, I understand. Would you tell me I understand where he's coming from? Because he tried it the right way and these women did him wrong. Would you say that same thing? Yes. I got brothers. I'd be like, you know what? Fuck these bitches. <laughs> that, 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 I would. Right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not biased. I'm like, I'm not biased. I feel mm. like people's experiences reflect how they are. So her experiences reflected how she is today. And she didn't say like she only messes with dudes with money or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. She said now she makes sure they got something to offer her before she, you know, be giving her all to the situation. She also said that she wants a man with money because she want to be able to save her money while he spends all of his money so that if the relationship does fail... That she has an out because she saved all her money and she didn't have to spend anything. Oh, no, I don't that's agree crazy. with that. And that's old school. I don't as hell. agree with that. That's different. That's that's, that's old, old school? school as hell. Yes. What you mean? Um a lot of aunties and mothers live that same way. Mm-hmm. They shacked up with their man, and when it didn't work out, they had their they money and they bounced. And that's an old school way of living. That's they were also probably, housewives though, right? Yeah, yeah they were housewives. The, yeah. They didn't go nowhere. They stacked up everything they they mm-hmm. had. They had their little canister with their money in it. And mm-hmm. when it was time to bounce, or he was doing too much, they bounced. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's super old school. Like I'm not I'm not judging her for that. Yeah, yeah but I, we can't keep no stash of pussy in the corner. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you better use it while you got it. <laughs> use it up, boy. <laughs> I, you know, I I just. I just don't like sometimes the, you know, how it's worded because again, we can keep justifying everybody's, you know, everybody goes through bad experiences. I know women like always say that, you know, obviously y'all have y'all experiences, but there's a lot of men who have also have their experiences with women. And I wouldn't sit here and justify like, you know, Ju said some shit like, yo, these women out here played me. Now I'm only using them. I would never look at him like, damn, you know what? I understand where you're coming from. Use these, like, I personally wouldn't say that. Yeah. So when I hear women and there was a lot of women under the comments and it wasn't like, you know, I understand dating for stability, right? That's I was just about to say that. that that's yeah. understandable. Yeah. But when you feel like I'm just using a man for his resources to get what I could get you out of him. leading with that? Like, you know what I mean? Then I think that's where it's a little bit misleading. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. as a man, I wouldn't want to, you know, I, I want to take care of my woman, but I would never want her to look at me like a come up or mm-hmm. that she right. get to save all her money while I'm I'm working 80 hours a week to provide for her or do provide this lifestyle for her and mm-hmm. I don't get nothing out of it besides maybe some sex every once in a while when she feel like it or whatever like you know what I'm saying so I wouldn't want to feel like I I'm think that man used. is also looking at her as an object as well at that point once you 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 start off by saying well I'm only interested in what you can give me then I'm well, going to be looking at you with that? She sound like she was leading that Ooh. young. Not you, the young oh, lady. I'm about to no, no, no. no. So, I'm sorry, my head. <laughs> but, but we also didn't here. see the whole thing. I feel like we only got like a snippet of the interview where she was like really like going in. Mm. Yeah, but we was on I, we was on the show. Like we know yeah. exactly what she yeah, was. Yeah, we know where she came from. We understood where she was. Well, we didn't understand, but we heard in full <laughs> what she was saying. Mm-hmm. She also yeah. said another man, if he had more money, he would be she'd be willing to jump ship. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what I, I don't. I, I don't agree. I disagree with no. if if that's what she was promoting up here. I disagree with it. Yeah. But like you were saying, I feel like a woman should definitely. I don't think there's nothing wrong with a woman dating a man that can provide stability. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's important. Right. Right. Um. But like you said, if that's the base, if money is the basis of the relationship, then that's when things go yeah. left. Mm-hmm. So I think it needs to be something more than just money that's yeah. holding, that's the glue for the relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, are we not holding ourselves accountable as well for our poor selection? Whether it's your brother who picked the bad woman that was using him, mm-hmm. or when you felt like that, or if a man had you pay his rent and he used you, 
are we not holding ourselves accountable for those poor selections? Yes, you led with your heart, but it's still a poor selection at the end of the day. Yes, but you got to understand that human beings, they pretend. You don't never get the full person when you first meet them. Mm-hmm. So you never know who you're getting. You can, The person can pretend to be oh, this amazing person. That's true. And then it doesn't turn out like that. And that's what she's like, that's what I, I got from okay, what she so experienced. Okay, so another like, example. So how did, okay, so when you did something nice for him, did he ever fuck up before? And it, was it patterns of the same shit? Cause it's I like, didn't know nothing was wrong. I was in a happy relationship. What you mean? Until he sat so, me down and told me he got somebody pregnant. Oh, okay. So I understand yeah, that. And that's I'm like, different. hold on, buddy. No, because people have patterns of doing that. people have patterns of doing the same fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. I was one example of that. Like I would cheat all the time and not give a fuck. Uh-huh. And I felt more comfortable doing that because I felt like the women in my life mm-hmm. uh accepted it. So I didn't have to you mm-hmm. accepted me from my flaws. So it was like why do I gotta change? Yeah, well, I gotta change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So at that point, when you see these patterns, I feel like people need to cut people off rather than justifying it, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, because it's like, you know, I understand it's if that hard. happened to you one time, like you got your, there was a, a, a fuck boy that you dealt with or he he did you wrong. Mm-hmm. That happens one time. But when y'all keep constantly saying, like, I, this is my 18th relationship, and he, yeah, it almost like y'all go for a certain pattern. Like we was up here with Chinese Kitty, shout out to Chinese Kitty. And, you know, her and her friend kept justifying. Toxic niggas, basically. They kept giving them, like, you know what I mean? So it was like, Mm-mm. y'all know that these men ain't shit, but you, deep down in your heart, you want to prove to yourself or you want him to change for you. And instead of you just being like, you know what? Let me hold myself accountable for the type of men that I keep choosing over and over again. Like, you know what I mean? So I think sometimes men and women tend to do that. Like, we keep yeah. choosing mm-hmm. the wrong, the same, yeah, yeah, you know, the wrong same. person. Or maybe we you looking at the wrong characteristics. Obviously, if we just looking for somebody with money, and sometimes when I feel like when, when they lead with that, you know, when we ask women what they want in men, it's usually they, the first thing they always say is finances. Like, you know, oh, I need a man that's gonna make a certain amount of money, this, that, and the third. They don't get to other characteristics of how a man should treat them until like after they get past the money, the height, you gotta have his business, he gotta have this, that. Then they get to, oh, yeah, he gotta be lo-. like loyalty. Don't even get you, don't, you don't get to loyalty until like eight, nine on the list. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, there's things I feel like men I mean, and women. I mean, he just said he was cheating several times. Maybe that's why we don't put loyalty up there because maybe we know we, it's we unrealistic. Know it's but but I, I also like... would understand when I was in a relationship with a woman that challenged me for cheating, I understood that I had to respect that. Did you that. stop? Yeah, of course I oh, stopped. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying at, at a point in my life, I didn't give a fuck. Okay. You get know, Because it was, it, women would just accept men cheat. Okay, well, let me cheat. You get what I'm saying? But once I felt like so, I found the right one, I didn't feel the urge as much. Okay, so my question is, so you cheated. Uh, your your partner didn't tell you to stop? Like, while you were in that spree of just cheating, like, you weren't told, like, I don't like this by your woman? I don't... No, not really. No. Because okay. I was more, like, open about... Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be seeing other. Oh, people. that's so what you came oh, in with. That's what you cheat. came okay. in with. You came I mean, in with. I'm a cheater. No, I didn't okay. come in with that. I'm, so how you I, came? I, I, being honest. Okay. Because honestly, I don't feel like it's cheating if you're being open and telling the person what you're doing. It's cheating when you're not when you're doing it behind so their back. Hey, break this down. Like you be with them, but like, yo, I'm about to go cheat on you. Like, like no, no, I'm saying that's like what I'm trying to figure oh, out. I'm, <laughs> if I say, hey, I'm speaking to other people. I'm doing my thing. I don't. I don't find it. Do you do you actually say that? Yeah. What would the response be like? They don't want that to happen. That's what I'm no, saying. No, but what yeah. do they say to you? Like, yeah, we'll if you say, say, "Hey, babe, I'm about to go." I don't say, "Hey, I'm going to do it today or tomorrow." Oh, I'm <laughs> like, I'm not putting schedules out, but I'm uh-huh. saying I'm 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 free on the market. <laughs> but then <laughs> how how like deep into the relationship are you saying this as well right like, i'm yeah. saying it from when i meet a person so if oh, you, from the oh, so, so if serious. you oh. if, but i'm saying if you talking to me but if you start to catch feelings until, uh-huh. until there's any oh, that's on me. Yeah, yeah. If conversation of exclusivity like now i'm like with you only then it's going to be just a i'm this is the same lifestyle i was living and up mm-hmm. until the point that you put those boundaries up and but then yeah. and then with yeah. you know sometimes with women will know that a man like you was previously they know the type of caliber man that he is. Like, you know, that kind of would draw them to him. Like in the first place, he, okay. they knew he had all the bitches. They knew the bitches was on his body. They mm-hmm. they knew that going in, but they felt like, you know what, I'm different. He gonna change for me. Like, you know I what I'm saying? Also had women buying me stuff to be better than the other woman. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
Ooh. I mean, is that a jab? Hold no, on. No, no, no. That's a jab. Ah, you felt that one in your spirit. Oh, no, my fault. no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, but it was, it's true. Like, uh, so there was in a competition. The women was just competing. Like, they had never seen another person. I could have been lying, but you know, who knows? Yeah. And it's sad. And I, I try to tell women all the time, don't date a nigga like how I used to be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. at the same time, I'm not proud of the person I was. It was an experience in my life that I didn't know better than. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I'm, I'm happy I changed. And I also didn't know better because I probably would have dealt with a, a dude like that and expect you to change and want to want you True. to, and you know, like you said, bribe you to change or whatever. But mm -hmm. now that we're grown, like I would never, if you came mm -hmm. to me like that, I have one of two things that I could do, right? Like I could rock with it. And like you said, it's not serious, right? Yeah. right. Or I could just dismiss it. Yeah, And that's what I think should be done. Yeah. Like more. Women should yeah, yeah, yeah. not deal with it from jump. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, just to go back to the previous thing about should women, you know, be shamed for dating men, you know, for money over love. I don't think, like I said, I think date, using a man for his resources, I think that's what I have an issue with. But women that mm -hmm. want stability for and, and hopes to build a family or marriage, then that's very much understandable. Yeah. But again, when you just want to exhaust a man for all of his resources, mm -hmm. just because in case he cheat on me, I got a I got a Louis bag or that's I got a vacation, just... then that's when I feel like, all right, well, you know, because I look at it like I'm leaving here with some. Th this is this, this this could be me. Like you could, I would never want to meet a woman yeah. who would. This is why I don't even leave with money. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I would want never want a woman to look at me like. And then even she said, yeah, but next thing you got more money, you know. So my this relationship is is transactional. Depending on my money go up or down is how long you gonna stay. She like, said, you know "Don't let his, like, don't let another nigga bag be, be bigger, bigger than like, yours." You know that's that? exactly yeah, what it was. Oh that, man, so. I gotta go delete my closet. <laughs> that's why they might have been going on. It was oh, roasting me. I'm like, damn. I just, first of all, I don't live my life like that. Let me just yeah. be clear. Like I've always been the breadwinner in my relationships, and yeah. I realize now that I'm older and I looked at my dating patterns that I always. Pick the guy who don't have the most money because I like to control the situation. I said that. I a like to be able times. to leave yeah. when I want to mm -hmm. leave. Mm -hmm. I like to be able to do what I want to do when I when I want to do it. And that's not the right way to be in a relationship, especially mm -hmm. when you. I am attracted to alpha males, but alpha males, they're attracted to me initially, physically, but once they figure out like they like we're both mm -hmm. like this, they're mm -hmm. like, oh no, nah, we can't. Would you, do this. would you consider yourself an alpha woman? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and again, I made this example. Oh, I don't right. think two alphas can coexist in a relationship. You know what I mean? Because I feel like both of them are uh, competing for dominance over the other. Like you're yeah. so yeah. dominant in you know your work life that you feel like it's hard for you to submit to a man, even mm -hmm. if he's making more. You just feel like you know I I am still dominant in my own right. So there might be a you know always headbutting. This is why men usually go for women that's much more submissive, not because yeah. they want to take advantage factor. of them or whatever the case is, but it just naturally um, like blends together. Like, you know what I mean? With the, the alpha and the, the beta, if you want to call it. Like those combinations tend to work more in successful yeah. relationships. So than alpha, alphas. I just, because remember, I was trying to mm -hmm. define it earlier. So alpha women are not submissive. No, we are we submissive. We can be. Yes. Because he said, okay, we can yeah. be. But you have to be... Like, like you can't be us. here. You have to be here to get us to submit. We have to be able to know that you got our back. Like, we can fall and we can relax mm -hmm. and be a woman. Like, I don't want to be an alpha female. I don't want to be tough. I see the girls with the handbags and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, damn. You, think, you know, I don't want to buy mm -hmm. my own clothes right. and shoes and stuff all the time. But... That's At the just same the time, you don't want to listen to what a man got to say Exactly. As well. And I don't want nobody using me as a cum rag... Anytime they want to, because that's what those girls that's do crazy. too. Damn. I just feel like so. as alpha women, I feel like we also just tend to fall for the same people. Yeah. Like she said, mm. over and over and over again. Like, why is it that you are allowing me to control you as well? Like, I start to look at that too. You're mm. allowing me to tell you that. So then isn't... you t you're basically saying that you're the one that's ruining the relationship by you trying to be the alpha. Naturally, this happens. But there's Literally, nothing wrong with it's that. It's nothing know? wrong with that. But I just feel like if you see that I'm an alpha woman, step it, your shit up. But it, like, it is because you don't know how to relate to an average or average guy that you may not find alpha. You would he might be a good man with great qualities mm -hmm. for a successful relationship, but 
you're so alpha that you can't understand how to make the relationship work. But if he's doing what he's supposed to do, I'm pretty sure that submissiveness is going to mm. kick in. It's going to it's gonna kick in naturally. And we can't do that all the time. And mm. I also find that, but that's to your standards, right? right Which right, it, right. it should be as some, and relationships are transactional. Mm -hmm. We all want something to give mm. something or get right. something back from the person. But if your mind is, if you, let's say you have a higher education level, right? Mm -hmm. You're already looking at him. He got a high school diploma. If you're looking at him like, well, he's a dumb motherfucker, it's not going to really kind of change because that's your mindset. Where right. men, we could, and I'm not saying all women are like this, but when men, we whether we have a higher education or we're earning more, we're more understanding to that that, that kind of situation. And then they can't even tell you nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, motherfucker telling you about cars, you feel like because you got to educate. It don't even got, your education don't got nothing to do with cars, but you feel like you know more than him because you feel like you have a higher education. Not all not all women, yeah. obviously, but there's some women yeah. who just feel like right. because yeah, they I have the believe, education. I, I definitely like, don't believe that because I feel I, like it's really, I listen to, I just listen to how you speak. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's how I'm able to tell right. whether you're educated. Mm -hmm. So it's Agreed. like, I don't really look too much at the paper, the physical, because there's yeah. a lot of people with diplomas that aren't educated right. still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So... But that still doesn't, I think, grant you to, to belittle your man. You no. Know, or a man no. to belittle his woman. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because you accepted him to build his relationship. That shit is cut. Finito. Because right. you decided to have a relationship with this partner, this person. Yeah. But a lot of men get offended when you correct them. Like, how, on how they talk. In which way? They, literally, like, you could be so nice and gentle with them. And if they feel like you up here, they tend to not fuck with that shit either. And yeah, they, I think, and they I think treat you dudes. a certain way too. Some some, dudes some men be jealous of women. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. I, I got some it. Men, that, that some could men, be, some that men could are be, jealous of women. That could be um that could be possible, right? I'm not gonna take that away from you. I think you usually in my experience, women that are, you know, in a certain tax bracket or have a certain educational level, it's just a certain unpleasantness about them. You know what I mean? Just as a as a person, like you know what I mean? They always are combative. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Th there's certain qualities that they normally exhibit that men are just like, you know what? It's not because I'm jealous of you or I just I don't it just deal with that yeah, shit. it's just unpleasant. I don't want to yeah. be around that type yeah. of you know environment atmosphere. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? So, but again, there are there might be some men that are jealous or, or that are intimidated or, or sexist. Intimidated, like that. intimidated. That's or nothing I like that. that. I just feel like men yeah. in general don't. Give a fuck what you do. They don't care about your business. If they like you, they'll like you. If a man that's a millionaire could date a girl that works at Burger King, yeah, because that's true. It's how you make them feel. It's mm -hmm. not about what you can give them. And yeah. for women, it's more like, what can you give me? What can you provide me? What kind of stability can you provide me with? Mm -hmm. Right. So when a man sees an educated woman or she just has this super high chip on her shoulder, he's like, you know what? I don't really want to deal with that because. Yeah, I go get me a bitch from Burger King, right? Without that education mm -hmm. you got and without the attitude. Also, too, they feel like they might not be able to contribute as much, right? Like if you right. got yeah, everything, need needed. yeah, and they yeah. need to, you know, that they need to feel yeah. needed. So mm -hmm. it's like you coming in, I'm coming into it, and you already have everything. What yeah. can I possibly provide? That's what can my I problem provide? right now, girl. I don't even talk oh, about that's that. that's what I'm one. That's what is good. That's what's going on in yeah. your day life. Mm -hmm. I feel like guys, literally, with my degree, I really get looked at that way too. Intimidation, wow. all the way to the fullest. Like you, you went to school for four years. I don't know. Personally, like, I, I would want wow. an like, educated I woman. Like, but if you, if you, you have to use your education. That's in a way that's going to be productive to the relationship. So if mm. you went to school for accounting and I'm doing and, and I'm trying to figure out how to start up a business, you can use your whatever education you had to uh, benefit, you know, whatever startup I'm, I'm trying to do. It. I wouldn't be offended by you trying to help me with that. Mm -hmm. But if you're c coming to me, oh yeah, you don't know nothing about money. Mm. Like yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's yeah, a different I conversation. Make, I make more than you do, right? You like, it's a different it's, kind it's, of conversation. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had women, and you know, and this is why men don't really care about education, even though education is important. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you're still educated, you have all this money, but you still expect a man to pay for everything, it's like what is what to me, what is the purpose of your education if you're not gonna I'm not saying contribute financially, but mm -hmm. again, if I'm trying to build a family, right? And I'm trying to build generational mm. wealth. Then obviously inflation is at all time in this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Like here, this ain't our grandfather. The motherfuckers worked in a factory and was taking care of eight 
fucking families. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. inflation is at an all-time high, so I need you to contribute, be able to contribute to we our family. We need each other. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? No, so but that's... you also, like you said, inflation, you also need me to contribute money. Like, yeah. I feel like living in New York, we need both people making money. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even if, like I said, when, when people, when we hit the turn 50-50, it, it automatically thinks that we got to go half down the middle. It doesn't necessarily mm. mean that. But again, if I'm working 80 hours a week and I'm doing all this money to pay for the bills... You can't realistically expect me to be saving up a significant amount of money for mm-hmm. a rainy day as well because I have to contribute so much. So maybe you might have to pay the bills, but hey, you know what? Maybe put some of your your check away for yes. you know yes. in our savings. That way, you know, in case something happens, I lose my job, we have something to fall back on. Like, you know what I mean? That's ex- that's how it should be. I feel mm-hmm. like every relationship should be like that. Like I, like um, about twenty seventeen, I was dating this guy. Maybe twenty sixteen, and he was a super big director. And he had so much money. And then I never paid for anything the whole relationship. We broke up and a year later, he lost everything. Mm. Literally wow. everything. His app, all his money, his condo, everything. And nobody around him could give him give him the money. And he came to me. Your woman is supposed to be the person that saves the money. Mm-hmm. But I mm-hmm. had that because I never paid for nothing in the relationship. Right. And I literally was able to give him 12 grand like... Like, like it was nothing. nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, like it was nothing. That's dope, yeah. Yeah, I, but that's I, how it's supposed to be. Like, yeah. when Absolutely. a relationship is yeah. done properly, and even though we're not together, we're still friends. Like, that's my dude, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's how, you know, I, I think a man wants to know that, you know, that our woman would ultimately would have our back in case yeah. something yeah, happens. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. if they're taking care of you on a day yeah, to day basis. I, I yeah. think a lot of men are feeling yeah. like, damn, especially when we hear, you know, that woman on the show, damn, I'm only... Here for my money. If I lose this shit, she already told me she out. Like you know what I'm saying, and right. mm-hmm. whatever the case is. So it doesn't make us feel as secure within our relationships because we feel like, damn, we get layoffs happen. The tech industry is going crazy with layoffs. If that happened, yeah. you know what I mean? As you gonna be out? Like are you, you know what I mean? Ride? Like are you gonna right. go to the next nigga because his bag is bigger now? Like you know what I mean? So we just want to feel like, ah, right, you're in this for the long haul. Like you get what I'm saying? At least the quality men that want productive yes. relationships. And but families, that's a judgment like, you know? call on your your part. Mm-hmm. Remember you were talking about yeah. like just. You have to, even though people pretend you, they don't pretend for long. Like you catch yeah. little characteristics right. of people. Yeah. And I think people ignore red flags because you could avoid so much stuff if you just pay attention to people. Right. So if you have a woman that presents herself as just here for the bag yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know that, why are you with her? That's a fact. No, why are you wasting your money? That, that, that I think that's the, accountability. that's the scariest part, right? Because women like to be so vocal about how they wouldn't take care of a man or how... They got their money stashed for a rainy day or when they get a divorce, they extremely vocal. But now it's like a trend not to not to be a woman and embrace your relationship like she's willing to give her money to her man or help her man out or put money. I don't understand. They're lying. they, they are like 100%. They're, they're holding but they're men not down. vocal. Yeah. They are. They're holding they men down. Though. She just said it. No, she said, I, I paid a man's rent. Understandable. Like, I think my woman would give me- Not even the same man I was just talking about. This is a whole nother right. night. You, no, that's what I'm saying. You, been, you tri- held that one- I've been mommy for a long time. That's what I'm saying. I need saying. to racks now. I'm right, sorry. But, but so, we, go on IG, we go on IG and we might post a meme or something or put up a little status that say something completely different. Why is that? all of a sudden- I need to know. Why is that? Why do women feel comfortable I don't know. Maybe it's this. a lyric. Maybe it's a city. No, Maybe right. I'm just quoting no, lyrics, and no, now you you when, taking when it and running with energy it. in the air. You want to make you want to give off that energy, so a dude that don't have it don't approach you, so you don't get <laughs> suck it into the same situation. Because oh I do. But I you, be posting mad memes like, yeah, fly me out, all that stuff. No, I fly myself out. Right. I know. Every time I fly, you out, know you yourself fly. I was no yourself in front of you. So the guy, yeah, the, so the guy that might want to fly you out, even though and, and he's not gonna be on the, you know, the creep guy shit. He's gonna look at you like, oh yeah, she wants to be. Oh, she been flown out by niggas. And then you just turn him down politely. You know, just like, oh no, that was just a post. You know? I'm just saying, women should Cleaning embrace, in you know, supporting their man a little bit more. Right. You got and men, and men, maybe men should lead so you guys can feel comfortable in doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe that's a reason why y'all y'all do choose to do that. I, know, I don't know. I know when Cardi and Ari brought their man something for what are their birthdays, mm-hmm. under the comments, those women was killing them for doing that. Girl, I could never, I would never buy my man a land, but I would never. What? They was going off in those comments when, when Ari mm-hmm. brought him your land. money land. land. Yeah. They yeah. Would, the women was in the comments going crazy. I could never, I would never do the girl. Well, he just going to leave you anyway. They, the, you know what I mean? So, him, right? Yeah, they were saying because that's not her husband that right. They sh- that he sh- shouldn't have granted. They wasn't, that. Sh- but yeah, I'm, that's, that's what I'm like saying. saying like, you're not my wife. I'm 
not got gonna it. pay right. for your hair and nails. Right. It's not <laughs> exactly. white. Exactly. 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 Now I'm not taking you to dinner. You're not my wife. Exactly. I'm not gonna pay for your portion of the meal because you're not really my wife. Yo, thank you, now dinner is different from acres of land. I'm saying they're dating their wage. They're dating their wage. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It ain't tricking if you got it. What can you give a man that can get anything he want? Some motherfucking land. I agree. It ain't tricking if you got it. That's what I'm saying. She had it. Yeah, she had it. I don't think it's tricking if they deserve it. You get what I'm saying? So if he treats her good, he makes her happy, he deserved that motherfucking land. They gonna live on it. Yeah, that's a fact, man. That's a fact. 